Click this button and then say, yo, what up? How's it going, man? Hey, what's up? A racer, huh? Yeah, I haven't played a racer yet. Somehow. Not once, never? Not once, never. Huh. I dig that. I can respect it. I can respect it. So hit me with the uh, hit me with the pitch. What's going on with this here a racer deck? Um, so it plays defense pretty similarly to the ability to block as like the void symbol does. Right. Um right, with, with slightly better block mods. And then um I feel like this deck with the punch package could just when I draw it, I just kill you. Like I just yeah. punch the sh- people like whenever whenever i see it it just happens um with the free like it's all about like free stats right like if you look at the, the attack lineup it's just going to be a bunch of free stats plus free speed on top of what the attacks do right 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 um, yeah and then uh punch of crap out of people well that makes sense to me yeah um so what do you need my help with um the the attack lineup like this there's, there's a very good like base Mm-hmm. Um, like I think Cat Punch is amazing, Karate Chop is amazing, um, but like Vortex of Smashes doesn't feel great because I feel like this deck might have to do a lot of like poking and defending, and Texas Smash isn't the greatest for that. Sure. Um, so I feel like the attack lineup is like the last couple slots are a little like lackluster. Um, I don't think I think I'm a little I th- think I only have four spam, so that needs to change. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I think uh, low blocks could be a little, little better, and I think I only have four deadlock cards. It's not terrible, mm. um, but mm. they're also almost all plus threes, and I don't I don't like to run a bunch of plus three lows because when people figure out that's what your deck has, a lot of people can like really take advantage of that. Sure. Um, but yeah, that's the gist of it. Um, and then like I, I made this pretty quickly, so there's some things like I don't have four specials of sound. Like let's fix that right away. Uh, um that was that's a mistake always um and yeah so that's that's, those are the things um spam maybe some better low block block mods and deadlock and like tweak the attacks yeah i dig it i'm here for it i'm uh doing just a little bit more looking to throw even more cards into your sideboard yeah uh (laughs) I had, I, I had, I thought it was really cool. I had like three spooky and like some challenging the fakes. I thought that would be super sick, but like that seems like a lot of hoops when I could just be a racer head and block everything. Yeah. Oh. Um, but I mean, spooky um, just goes in the deck, right? Like spooky's just like too good. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh. I, I cut down to two because I just was trying to cut the deck down a little and I didn't, and I had a ton of high blocks. So I cut it down uh, to two, which doesn't feel great because I know like. All the good eraser players seem to play with like three or four spookies. Um, uh, from what I know. they're just greedy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um, but yeah, I mean the card's good. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. like it's good. Let's go ahead and push specialist up to a four of while I'm over here. Um, right. crow and frog question mark. The card's good. The card doesn't get to progressive. Mighty punch. Yep. I think Mighty Punch Racer. It's so I good. Thought man. about it. It's so um, good. It's a five. I 100 percent thought about it. Yeah. It would be my only five diff, which is oh no, I forgot to five diff. Yeah. I was definitely thinking, wait, Mighty. Which one's Mighty Punch? If it's um, not blocked, was, they draw two cards, or you draw two cards. I think I was thinking of Smash. Um, but yeah, like uh, yeah, Mighty Punch is pretty sick. I would be down for it. Hell yeah. Um, I think this card's so cracked. Yeah. Um, I think if I add more mids, I might have to like. Re- rain in the karate chops a little bit um potentially um if i add too many more mids but i'm yeah i was looking at that attack guy already so so this this is crazy i uh-huh. think that this is the best focused attack deck that you can play um i think not caring that all your moves are mid and just giving them all plus two speed is nuts it, and the fact that we just got an extra mid attack. This is one of the first decks that I'm building for tonight. Is a racer head one that sides into a racer head two, playing mm-hmm. focus attack. Um, playing focus. Okay. Like, I think being able to play cat punch, being able to like not have to worry about about. I, this is a four mid for six. That if it's blocked, you draw a card, and so it's just not blocked. Right, but like yep. they only hold their mid blocks. Being able to turn off my opponent's character and then give this thing the extra speed 
is nuts. It's just so, so good. Um, you just slam extra, like, you don't have easily excited or snack times on your board. Um, you don't have floating mm-hmm. to say that your your moves all get plus two, plus one. Um, like, like you're just, like, leaving a lot of a lot to be desired on the table. And if you change this to a mid-attack deck as opposed to a punch deck, yes, you lose things like rapid punches. So, like, things like rap, uh, cat punch, rapid punches, karate chop, like, feels worse, right? Um, but, uh, and it says that, like, things like D- Texas Smash doesn't feel as good. Detroit Smash, or Missouri Smash doesn't feel as good. But you get to play yeah. things like, let me go find it. Uh, you get to play Eraser Heads, Eraser Head 2's stuff. Um, you get to play Binding Shoulder Rush and Eraser Grasp. Um, and those just combo with attacks. Uh, the next combo attack you play this turn gets minus one difficulty, ready a card that you haven't been played. Uh, in hand, your next combo or weapon attack gets plus three damage. So, like, you just, like, give this thing more damage. I think if you're, like, if you are if you are feeling uh, Mighty Punch as a card, uh, I think Focus Attack is the way to go with this deck. That's how I feel personally. But mm-hmm. I totally get this card draws a card, this card draws a card, this card draws a card. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I get the, it. I get it. I think the next, like, you sold me, but that's the next iteration. I want to work on Love this. Love that. Love that. Let's let's yeah. do this then. Um, okay. So uh, let's look at our zones. We've got mid, mid, high, high, low, low. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, yeah. We crush that. that. Um, is there a different? Let's just look at difficulties. So we can go find the text. Is there anything in here that we added that might matter? Answer is. N- I put in Harden Barrage as a way to get damage and be a high We're block. Not, oh my god! I thought I had Harden Barrage in the deck. Barrage is not. Yeah. A barrage is not in here. Uh, you give mm-hmm. speed. It gives damage. This is just the most unblockable four damage move of all time. Yeah. So, Harden Barrage is supposed to be in the deck. So, yeah. can we put four of those in and figure out what to go to after that? Four? Uh, or three, at least. It's got. I think it's got to have three, at least. Three? I really like I mean, um, with Season being so powerful. Um, yeah. Sure, yeah. I, I like Unflipping that. your stuff is, is red. And you didn't even have a, a Destin in your deck. Being able to unflip Destin is yeah. really good. Um, yeah, I, I was kind of... Uh, because I knew I wanted to be one of the first people on your thing tonight, so I was just cutting cards like super quick um, yeah. to get it to get it list together. Um, yeah, I mean, we obviously we cut some cards. Now I think three Texas smashes is the right number. Um, yes. Um, How, especially this is it, crazy. This is crazy. How do you feel about two? So if we do, uh, if we two, do two, it's twenty attacks, right? Because mm-hmm. I have to ask, how big is this number? Um. 56 to 61 okay. is kind of what I was thinking. All right. Um, just because I have the rapid punches, uh, hardened barrage, I don't really want to go above 60 because I want to totally. see them at the same time. Totally, totally, totally. Um, so yeah, like like 61 is a hard stop, but I prefer to be like 56 to six. So 59 is like the range I'm looking for. You can for. make cuts. I'm here for it. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it. All right. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about the foundations or excuse me, the actions. We got symbol piece of race, obviously for yeah. race. The sell me on symbol. Uh, symbol on piece. Um, this is basically specifically from feedback from Pippa, who is playing All Might on the All symbol. Mm-hmm. Um, she says it's just fantastic because it's just you block two or three, you block two attacks, and then you draw two cards, and it basically doesn't count towards progressive. And then your opponent's like, "Oh crap, Eraser's hand is still full." I like, what do you do against that, right? Yeah. Um, so she she said it was just fantastic. It's just like a turn stopper. It's like you get to use a racer's draw two without committing your character, so you can still get minus speed. Oh. Um, and That's then you can tight. Yep, and it activates um it activates uh, mediator. I was ready to cut it. I was ready to call you dumb. <laughs> but that sounds <laughs> that sounds cool. Yeah. Uh. Um. I, I just because the deck's staying under sixty. Otherwise, I would have three of them in there. Um, yeah. I, I cut sugar before I cut that because I think it does have a lot of synergy, specifically on a razor head, um, and it's a bad card everywhere else. It also <clears throat> it also lets you dig a little, little dig a little dig, dig a little deeper if you have to on attack. Um, if they've like blocked with two attacks and you still want to keep trying to go right, you don't have the Texas. Nothing right. else in here combos really. Um, right. It increases your difficulty, but like, uh, scissor moves get faster. 
Yeah, and like Eraser is pretty good at living to that late game where I can have ten foundations, so it's fine. Yeah, um, it's kind of yeah. I'm I'm exactly. Plus, um, this card and this card are exceptional together. Uh, to the rescue which card, the rescue and what card? And and symbol. I, I, you just say symbol. symbol doesn't count. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, to the rescue was on my cut list, but like actually maybe not like I, I think it might be more of a cyborg card i haven't decided i think that response is oh. too good not to play at least to one of yeah yeah i think being um, able to like after i play a move turn off my opponent's defensive pieces like like imagine yeah. sealing their specialist before they get to play it right yeah, that's it's, it's response right. speed hate irrefutable wishes it was this <laughs> yeah uh shut shut up cheer cheerleader is my favorite card in the game right now yeah um it it did so great for me last weekend, um, but uh, but yeah, like trying to have cheerleader sounds fun too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about the foundations and, and stuff that I added, and then we can mm -hmm. we can uh, uh, make. Uh, you can tell me what you want to add, and we can make make cuts or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this card is after watching it uh, for the one game that I watched in e, uh, <laughs> OCE Nets. That was a joke. I watched a mm -hmm. lot of games. Uh, this card was all over the place, and I think it was working. Um, I think destroy minus mm -hmm. one speed play ball committed. After you block with this, remove it. It's a zero diff. Like, like this card is kind of good in every zone. It's a five check. It, this card is very good. Um, mm -hmm. So if we're like missing mid blocks, uh, it's one of my very high on the list, especially because we don't have very much spam. I love this card. I think this card is so so undervalued. <laughs> Uh, it, this card. I think I've read it like once. <laughs> Say again. So I think I've only read that card like once in my life. I have to reread it. Let me let me sell you on it. You ready? So All it right. says that the second yep. thing that you play every turn gets plus four plus two, unless mm -hmm. they decide to commit a card on your board on your turn. In which case, you either draw a card or selectively commit down one of their defensive pieces, or. As their opener, oh. let's pretend that it stays ready on their turn. As their opener, they draw a stun to attack. They're not allowed to play it until the second move, which means that you actually really get to block the first one without being uh, committed out resource-wise because they want that plus two, plus two as yeah. well. And you just take the two speed away and you don't care about the damage. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sick. And so, like, um. if they stun on your turn, right, you just commit and just commit their best move or draw a bonus minus two speed yeah i think this card sick. is incredible um and i've been got by this card over and over and over again uh like anytime anytime that i play this card or somebody else plays this card it's like it it, it, it puts in so much work and everybody goes oh that's yeah i guess that is how that works it's it's strictly because of these words here is why mm -hmm. i think it's nuts while well, this card is ready yeah. in your stage so I like that's what made it, yeah i think that's what made it fly under my radar is like that it's not always for my opponent. Right. Right. I think this card out of one of is exceptional. And the worst thing that it, that like at worst case scenario, and the reason that Eraserhead is undeniably the best character in the game, we all just suck at playing it. It's minus two speed. Yeah. It's minus two speed. Go um, pick up on a race. Yeah. And at the beginning of this, I said I wanted more low blocks that weren't plus three. So Love I. Love it. It's a one of. Yeah. Put it right in. Absolutely. How did this miss the list? What's going on here? I was trying to I was trying to cut my deck down without cutting low blocks. Um, so like I cut neat. Like put that back to I'm missing a lot of <laughs> I'm missing a lot of zeros that are important. Um, acro yeah, acrobatics hard because like I never am low on on mid mid blocks. Yeah, racer. Um, yeah. however, it's like really good but i feel like i might want to put in floating before i put in acrobatic i completely agree with that i just think that this card should be on more people's radar i don't think that it's an eraser mm -hmm. one card but i think this card yeah. should start existing in people's lists truthfully especially especially on water i think it's yeah. disgusting on water especially on water especially on water yeah. it's so good yeah um yeah, yeah. maybe a couple you know. go ahead go ahead as a maybe a couple of floating, um, would sure. like probably we'll two, slam them in. Like, Snack yeah. time. This card says that your opponent can't go to deadlock against you. You got plus two speed. You get to draw a bunch of cards. It's in deadlock. Put it in. I forgot that card was on all, or it would be in the deck. Um, probably two. Rebels. 
Um, Same as floating, less stuff. It could even just be a one up if we can find the room. Um, it just does a different thing besides floating. Uh, yeah. Death or celebrity status. Um, mm -hmm. Go and stack free draw one of these cool cards. The um, the the only issue with that is my opponent has a lot of say so in when I draw a card with sure. those. Except um, for this card. Except uh, for that card, which we don't have um, in the deck at all. Yep. Yeah. So like that's the thing. Like I don't know how I'm gonna add Rebel and Destined. Um, sure. Like that's just a lot of mid blocks that this I gets don't to be need. A three of. I think uh, because of how deep into a string we want to be, and we mm -hmm. we're not playing award the victor, which clears our pool, guarantees mm -hmm. our check. Um, I think this card easily could be at some number inside of your deck. Uh, it you know what? is only um, bad versus with karate chop. That's it. What's the what's the midnight card that when you discard it, it gives minus one or plus one damage? Uh, that's the best my. It's the, it's the best all worked up, I think. Like all worked up, I think, is maybe a little better than Destin because it also helps my checks. Um, it's guaranteed to help, where Destin just usually help. But like, it also can be discarded for discard it, give it plus two speed, plus one damage when I use my eraser enhance. Um, and it's a high block, which is better. Huh. That's interesting. What do you think about that? I, I just thought. I think that it is a fine line, a fine idea. This card doesn't say sack my opponent and add an attack to my hand is the only thing that I'm missing. Yeah. I think Destin being a 50-50 mode of guarantee my check slash rip Texas smash to my hand when I need it is mm -hmm. like sometimes cheating. Yeah, that's fair. And that, that, that card doesn't say that. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Yeah. No, I think that's fair. I just like kind of had like uh, it's, a, it's a brain blast. Right yeah, it's a good thought. Um, I think it takes like like maybe like your like you could like you could put this in it like a one maybe a two of maybe cut pull no punches down a little bit because we've got things like snack time. Yeah, uh, for the for the the deadlock. Um, but yeah, maybe pull no punches helps with checks better than. Uh, all worked up does though because it clears the card out of my card pool entirely <clears throat> this destroys while ready this is playable while committed yeah, 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 yeah um so i guess that's probably about it. it's i yeah. think it's i think it's actually directly even uh yeah that, that actually does sound right uh, yeah maybe we take a, put yeah, the third behind. specialist in that means we get to cut patient observation yeah yeah um, patient observation should go. It's a um, six, and that's the only thing that it does better than specialist. But specialist lets mm -hmm. you know what your next check is. Um, what is it? unexpected hero can probably go down to two. I was thinking. Um, okay. I don't know what our blocks are looking like right now. Pew. Um, not terrible. Actually, not bad at all. Um, yeah. We've got maybe too many highs, but that might just be yeah. card count, right? Yeah. Um block zone high blocks easily excited because i slammed all of these in here yeah um i'm not sure i need full on full on attack mode if i have um i put in there for foundation destruction i didn't know uh not even floating um snack time they, it, it, it get out of the deadlock is the main reason i had it in the deck right yeah um and it's just a way better card well Snack time I mean, doesn't did... get us out of deadlock. It's just discard a card to do the thing. Oh, that's just a card. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Never mind. Um, can you tell I haven't played this symbol very much? It's all good. <laughs> um, it's all yeah, good. Yeah. No, right. Um, yeah. I think Here's what some I'm thinking. E I think we maybe drop this down to a three of, mm -hmm. this down to a three of, and we just got to cut two cards, right? Down to 66. We got to cut five more, and they still just have to be high blocks. Yeah. Uh, I think that the big thing is is like we just have like a lot of good ones, right? Like it can't be fixed. Right. Pull no punches. Uh, mediator. I mean, you're only playing two mediator, right? One night watch. It's possible that you put night watch in the sideboard because you can be yeah. a little bit more aggressive. But that that like that doesn't seem very book. <laughs> that doesn't yeah, seem like I, the correct yeah. move. I'd be surprised if I didn't side in every game. 
Um, we could cut easily excited and put the it can't be fixed back. We could do that. Let me. It, I have one in my sideboard, right? Where is it at? Easily excited. All right, so it's still on the table. Let's cut this and actually just like look and see what the deck looks like, difficulty wise. Yeah. Twenty four foundations are spam. I don't think you need that many zeros. Right, you've got your six zeros. Just realize that like your fourth card is not free. Yeah. Most ninety percent of the time, right? Uh, you yeah. you you are you are a build three gamer most of the time, as opposed to a build four gamer most of the time. Mm -hmm. Which like if if it turns out that that's not good enough, then you just have to like cut some. Uh, cut some uh, of these other high blocks, right? You cut the snack time, yeah. you cut one of the pull no punches, and you slam three of these back in, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, is there any other get out of deadlock cards on the all symbol? Because I don't, I'm not in love with full on attack mode. It's just kind no, of that's there. the only one. Okay. Well, yep. then I guess I you play it. Um. Yeah. What, what's our what's our total count looking at right now? Uh, I think our oh, hello graphs. Uh, our total count right now is 64, which I think is a totally fine number to be at for you to play the symbol, get uh, be a little bloated, see how the card text interacts with each other and, and, and what feels good in your hand, and then mm -hmm. from there be like, well, I hated Nightwatch. I never knew what I wanted to cancel with it, and I wanted to cancel everything. And so to take out mm -hmm. the burden, I'll get rid of it. Maybe that's a bad example. I don't need three pull-up <laughs> punches. I only need two. Snack time didn't do anything. Special should still only be a three of because mm -hmm. I've got I've got essentially it on my face, yeah. right? Like, I, I think yeah. these are decisions that you get to make. I think Unexpected Hero easily gets to leave except for the fact that it's a low block, right? Um, yeah. I think these are decisions that you just need to make by playing the deck. Mm -hmm. uh, Tam's an idiot. USJ sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, and, and so, like, be a little bloated, play a little slower of a game, but at the same time, mm -hmm. draw a card, draw a card, <laughs> draw a yeah, card. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> draw a card. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to slap a hardened barrage on top just because 20 attacks and 64 doesn't seem... I don't know. I don't play seven-handers either, but I think I'm going to just slap that on top. Let's do just it. to see more, see more attacks and see how that feels like. Yeah, I think that's, that's definitely a good starting point. Um, I can kind of see how the builds are going and how like with the only six zero dips and i can kind of test the rest um i like it thanks for the help you're very welcome yeah this is this is super super cool and this is like i think that this is like this attack lineup right i'm not gonna look at the foundations because i think the foundations like the the, the reason the all symbol is so cool is because i i'm not positive that there is a correct lineup right as we talk about in all right. the video i think that there is a correct lineup foundation wise for like chaos tokoyami I think that the list that sure. that 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 was that was played is the best deck in the room, and I, I, I oh, believe that. I don't know what to do with this word in the all symbol. I think there's actually <laughs> so many options that all mm -hmm. are like, how do you want to play the game? For for real. Yeah, like a um, war the victor, it should be in this deck. Where? Yeah, but where, I have no where? idea. <laughs> yeah, I haven't I got I haven't got a clue. Like, um, yeah, it could. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, which yeah. is the real fun of 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 these these middle of the road symbols, right? There's not mm -hmm. a best forty cards to go foundation wise. It just isn't. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you for the support on Patreon. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Let me uh, shoot you over the deck list, and you have a good rest awesome. of your night. Okay. Awesome. You too. Thanks. All right. We'll see ya.